If you have children, three, four children, nobody will give you a house. They will say, how many children? This is three, four children. They say, no, no, we don't give. If you are single, it's okay. You can share one room. Otherwise, it was difficult to get a house. Job, the same thing. There, there were no other jobs other than factory, factory work. So in Lancashire, there were 200 mills in Bolton in those days when I had arrived here. And you go to any of the mill, textile mill, the job is there. It was easy to get a job. On the first day when I went there, I, I was told that you, you pick up any job because if you wanted to bring your family, you need a sponsor. And if you don't have a job, you cannot bring the family here. So I said, I must get a job. So once I get a job, I get a sponsor. Make up a sponsor, send it them to Kenya so they can come here in three, four months' time. That's what I did. So immediately, the, I went to Bolton. I stayed with my friend. And uh, they all go together and they were telling me the same story. They say, here there are no other jobs. Factory job is the only job and you must pick up, temporary. Later on, you may find it the, the right job. Otherwise, in office, you will never get a job. I went to Barclays Bank. I had an account there with them. And I asked one of the clerks, he said, no, 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 you can't work in a bank. I said, I've got 15 years experience, 15 years banking done with a British bank. They said, no, no, that was in Kenya, not here. You don't have any experience here. He said, we need somebody who is experienced here. I said, well, the only experience I can get if you give me a job here. So I spent 10 years working in factories, doing 12 hours night. I did seven years, 12 hours night for seven years. The whole world is sleeping, you are working in the factory. It was, it was a hard job. Pulling those belts of 200 kilos, you see, on the trolley, put them, you see. I was a banker. It was not my job, you see. Uh, you could, that could drive you mad, you see, when you think it. But then the question of survival, you see, to bring up the family. But because the children, they were already there, they were, uh, progressing well and very in a short time they finished the education, they went to the college, university, they got all the qualification. So when I count those things, that, that is the real bonus for me. I don't regret for working hard. I don't regret to say anything to for anyone. But still I owe a lot to this country as we see. They have given me something. Otherwise if I was in Kenya in those days, I could never send my children to UK for higher education. It was very expensive. Only the very rich people from Kenya, they were sending the children here. People, ordinary people cannot send them here. But because I was here, the children had a chance to study, to get the education, and they are doing the, my children, my grandchildren also, they are all educated here now. So uh, in, in that sense, the, the things are changing, but 68 year, from 1968, the things were different, but then it, as the time went by, the, Pope, the British people, they recognized that these Indian people, they are all right, they were part of the society, and they were just merging with them, working together, and now we can see the result now. It's all positive. 